Hello, and welcome to Team Fortress 2 on Christian Labor. Uh, this is your host, Shane the Roachmeister Roach, or the Roach Man, or... I got all these nicknames from when I was in the Navy. Roachmeister was my favorite. I'm uh, gonna play a little TF2 now, so here we go with professional TF2 failure. Yes, I play King of the Hill. Why? Because I suck, that's why. <laughs> I am not good at this game. And I don't care. One of the reasons I actually got back into video game playing is this game right here. Uh, I had given up on video games, thought I wasted too much time and money on them. And you could, I mean, and I still, I will not buy a console. Uh, I did buy a console a couple of years ago, bought two whole games, and uh, all the good games come out on PC. There's other things to do on a PC, so it, financially and ethically and morally, it just feels like the right thing to do to just... If somebody wants to make a game that's only for a console, why, I don't need to play it. And of course, this leads me directly into my rants about open source. Man, that's loud in my earphones. Pardon whatever noise. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna play easy. Play. <laughs> play easy, I say. Play! Uh, got into this game, I was working at HostGator, and they had Linux boxes all lined up free that you could play um, video games between working hours, you know, and so I did. <laughs> oh, crap. Uh... And that's how I ended up back into this, this whole culture, because I'm old. <laughs> I'm old, and I'm not really the video game addict that some people are. But I do like video games, and this game was free. I had avoided uh, first-person shooters, because they just look so hard. I and mean, they are kind of hard. <laughs> you can see that I'm not very good <laughs> playing the easiest character to play in TF2 and still dying like a pig dog. But it was fun. It was fun because it was free to play. I have since spent, I'm pretty sure, about as much money on this game as I have any other video game ever. Well, if you don't, if you count the cost of the, uh, yeah. Oh, I think I got kind of nervous there. I don't know why I was out there, because apparently... Well, yeah, I was taking off. We lost. Okay, that's why I was out there. Uh, they always say if somebody says they're star, they're not. So that's probably not star. Um... What was I saying? This is what started me back on video games, and from there I began to look into open source because what had happened was I had already looked into open source as far as Linux, obviously, but I didn't do anything <laughs> with my computer anymore. Uh, I mean, literally nothing. If it was professional stuff, it had to be Windows because it was. I used to do insurance adjusting. Oh man, I hate it when that happens. Uh, and all of that was definitely all about um, Windows. Anything insurance adjusting related works on Windows. I, w I had a partition of Linux and I used the the safest Debian uh, <laughs> staple <laughs> and and I just basically used it uh, as a hobby. Um, I told myself I was gonna learn how to program. Good grief, really? Yeah, that's what happens when you don't play for a while. Heavies are just like absolute fodder for uh, thieves. Thieves? Spies, whatever. Backstabbing scumbags, as I like to call them. Uh, so, we'll sit here and get killed by a backstabbing scumbag at some point. And... Man, he made it. He made it. Uh, 
I got one. <laughs> hey, where's some health? Can I have some health? Yeah, I'm just gonna stand here and let somebody stab me straight in the back. Okay. And that guy could die. That guy might die. He could die. Wow, look at him just flying around. Oh man. Where did he go? I have never seen anybody fly that far away before. I shouldn't have done that, but at least nobody else gets it. No, no, that's not good. <laughs> crap, crap, crap. I don't have any ammo? <laughs> I did not realize I was out of ammo. Uh, oh, I like his outfit. So, as I left off talking about anything serious, um, I was using... my Linux partition as an excuse to pretend like I was going to learn how to program. And I never did. And then I worked at a host skater and found out that I was indeed going to play video games after all because they were free now. There's free video games. Um, and so in order to play the free video games I actually bought a decent computer <laughs> and in the process I was also in school and taking some um, blacksmithing courses which ended up having uh, a course in blueprinting which ended up making me buy Windows 8 which was the stupidest thing imaginable did he shoot me? he sure did no oh, piddle um <laughs> nice stab <laughs> That was funny. I mean, that guy was determinedly staying in one, one exact one place. God, really? Give me a break. I'm double teamed here. Doc Knockdown? Doc Knockdown? We got like half of our people just sitting in spawn, so that could help explain why we are really sucking land all the time. Sucks. Maybe I can end around them. Gosh, we have a frickin' pyro and still can't kill anyone? Oh well. Yeah, what was I talking about? This is so nerve wracking. How do people like Star and Drama play and talk at the same time anyway? Seriously. Ah, I hate these little. Oh, he's... <laughs> I thought he was doing his little dance over there. His arm is actually dangling because he'd been nailed to the wall by arrow. Uh, got a decent computer. Got Windows 8.1 to run. Some, uh... Blueprinting software that I instantaneously fell out of love with. You guys know this company. I'm even going to pause this video in order to look it up. Autodesk. Autodesk. I bought uh, my computer specifically to run Autodesk on. And then come to find out Autodesk is this retarded situation where uh, <laughs> they have multiple 3D rendering tools, and one of them is a blueprinting thing. It's like it could all be one thing, and yet it's 58 different things, and each of them is $3,000 a year <laughs> to license. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, screw a you, buddy. I just find that kind of whole business practice of just cheating people for the hell of cheating people. Did I get shot or stabbed? Shot, yeah. Um, it just drives me nuts. I mean, literally, they have multiple 3D graphics creation pieces of Don't software. And, and yet, <laughs> uh, 
you know, you can't get it all. And admittedly, open source software is not as good. I mean, I have, uh, what's it called? The 3D, big 3D thing. Really? Where's that guy? Is he coming? Is he coming? Is he coming? Oh, that was awful. Um, what's it called? Blender. Add Blender. And, and it's not as good. And, and what's really confusing about Blender is they have the opportunity, whether they realize it or not, to totally invade a marketplace and uh, in the blueprinting field. And I actually read a note where they intended to purposefully not do um, a lot of tools that were based on setting measurements, whatever they call that, I forget what it is, but like in... Um, blueprinting, the big thing is to, you know, let me make this line and let me make this line exactly this long. <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, that's, that's the whole deal. And, and a big, free, effective blueprinting program would just be the bomb diggity. You know? But no, we're not going to do that. Our control point is being captured. That didn't work out well. Seriously? I can't believe he didn't see me. I guess I got very, very lucky. Would you give me my sand? Oh, I don't have any sandwich, I guess. Uh, <laughs> so that was stupid. Yeah, um, I forget what that's called. I should probably look it up and I'll put it in like a little text bubble or something. Uh, it's frustrating, because open source community is just so weird. It's self-destructive in a lot of ways. But at the end of the day, it's where I want to go. I think the best business models will eventually be over open source, but we have this whole universe of laws and things in place uh, that basically hand our entire lives over to investors and bankers and a whole series of people who have no reason to exist at all. And the rest of us work to keep them, you know, in shirts and giggles. Shirts and giggles, that's right. I said it. Shirts and giggles. Okay. For real. Alert. The control point has been contested. Is it really? Mission ends in ten yeah, seconds. Are we losing? Big time. Might as well die here. Oh, only one. <laughs> and here I am. <laughs> El Retardo sitting here. I thought we were behind, but we were actually way ahead. I must have switched sides. So that's kind of it, guys. Um, I'm playing this game. Another reason is I'm recording it. Um, because there's been some curiosity as to whether or not this uh, simple screen recorder would cause you to be called for cheating. So I'm going to record some hours of this game, and um, I'm pretty sure they're not going to nail you for cheating. All the stuff on Steam site about what will get you nailed for cheating says that this isn't the kind of thing that will get you nailed for cheating, but because he uses an injection tool of some sort, and I don't, you know, I always said I was going to learn to program, never did. Uh, but that injection goes into apparently into the memory in a way of the of the graphics card in a way that he thinks might be detected as cheating. Don't think it will be. Uh, just played for a few minutes. Uh, certainly nothing. No messages like you cheater bastard you. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. And uh, if I do get nailed for cheating, I will attempt to uh, get unnailed for it and whatever. But. At the end of the day, again, this, this little game got me back into video games, but it also got me into the whole world of what the heck is wrong with open source, and why the heck is there any closed source stuff left. And then, of course, there's the whole question of, well, what does this have to do with Christianity or labor, Shane? 
Well, I believe Christianity is intrinsically pro-labor. It's not anti-rich, but it is anti-greed. And unfortunately, uh, vast amounts of wealth and greed tend to go hand in hand. <laughs> it's pretty hard to get rich unless you try to get rich. And if your big goal in life is to get rich, you're, you're, you're greedy. <laughs> that's, that's your definition. That's who and what you are. So that is the summation of what this channel is about, why it has so much to do with video games, and that's that. I uh, hope you guys had some fun watching, and I hope you learned a little something about me and the channel, and have a great day. See ya!